everyone. Welcome to a museum coffee break. I'm Sarah and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Zuni Pots. So I was inspired by our upcoming exhibit called Eyes on America and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to talk about one indigenous group in North America. So the Zuni people are from the Zuni River Valley in modern day New Mexico. Something that's really interesting about the Zuni people is the Zuni language is actually an isolated language, which means that it's remained pretty much unchanged for the last 7,000 years. That's incredible. So we're lucky enough to have a Zuni pot in our collection. Some people call it a Zuni jar, a Zuni vessel, an Oya, but essentially it's a pottery or a clay vessel that's used to carry food and water, typically just water. So the one that we have is really typical of a classic Zuni pot design. They're known for their beautiful geometric shapes, which are symbols that represent different clans. Typically, these are created by women, and the women go through this really rigorous process to make them. So when the women dig up the clay with their hands, they're praying the whole time to Mother Earth and thanking the Earth for giving them the supplies, this clay, essentially. Another thing that's really interesting is while the pots are being fired in the kiln, um, it is traditional for the whole community to remain silent or to speak in whispered tones. That's because the Zuni people want to remain, they want to retain the integrity of the clay. They want to keep the voice of the earth within the clay. So that's why they want to be silent so the clay can still be heard. I think that's really awesome. So I put in the comments below a picture of our Zuni pot and let me know what you think of it. I love learning about indigenous groups and especially the art that's created. So let me know what you think and I hope you have a great week.